Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. This is the second time making this video because the first time I screwed up my microphone and couldn't stand listening to my own voice in editing. So if you haven't gathered what we're doing today by the thumbnail already, today we're doing uh, radio controls. Uh, you guys have asked for this quite a bit in my comments and I figured it's about time that I go ahead and just show you how I make a microcontroller for this. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. You guys have waited a long time for this already and let's jump into the workbench and let's get, uh, let's get building this thing. All right, so get over to the workbench. Let's go into the workbench here. Uh, let's get ourselves a flat little area to work on here. That's gonna be perfect. And we're gonna need a couple things here. So first let's go to our radios and we're just gonna grab the small radio here. It doesn't matter. You can grab any of these, any of these four here. Uh, you can also grab the satellite dishes. Uh, these guys here uh, would also work, but these are directional as these are omnidirectional. So these work a little bit better if you're trying to do something like a radio controlled vehicle. Uh, this would be more better if you're trying to control something across the world uh, that, you know, is a is a quite a distance. Uh, with these, you could actually control something in the Arctic with remote controls if you did it right. Uh, but we're going to be using one of the small ones here just for the sake of this tutorial today, uh, not the satellite dish here. Uh, so let's get ourselves a microcontroller. I've got a couple blank ones here we're going to use. Uh, so we're just going to start off here and place it down. Uh, now let's go ahead and jump into our microcontroller. And we want to start setting this up. So we're going to call this PNC's Remote Control MC. Copy it. We'll just paste it right there into the same spot. And let's go to our logic. Uh, so let's see. For a radio, we're going to need a composite. Uh, that's going to bring data from the radio. So we'll go from radio uh we're also going to need from the radio it's going to need a number and this is going to be our channel number channel number perfect and i think this is an output we'll take that to an output uh then we're going to need the four controls so we're going to have w s a d left right and up down so we're going to grab four nodes for this these are also going to be numbers so we'll change all these to numbers Easy enough. And we want to change these to outputs as well. We'll change all those. And then we'll have a D W S uh, left and right, and then up and down. And that should be these. So then we can, oops, we can move these around. I didn't change all of them to outputs clearly. So let's see, let's see if we can move these around. Which one was this one output for that? And we're going to need some more space here. So let's go ahead and make it longer. Uh, we can clean these up a little bit. We got ADWS, left, right, up, down, and then we'll put our channel number down there at the end. Actually, I want to move the channel number closer to the radio signal. Let's, if we're going to make a microcontroller, let's make it nice and neat and clean. So then our two signals will be right next to each other. Two radio controls and then all the seat stuff here. Back to the logic, we're going to need six more nodes here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's come down to here. We change all these to outputs, and these are going to be for the the buttons on the seat. So we'll come back up, and we will label these one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six, five, four, three, two. Won't bring two back. Oh, we messed up. Two and one. There we go. Perfect. That fits in there nicely. All right. Now that we're in the logic here, let's let's move this stuff around. And let's spread it out nice and neat. So we got four, five, six, got three, two, one. And then we're gonna get our up, down, left, right, W, S, and A, and D. We can move these over here as well. All right, we'll put those there. We'll need channel number to go right here. And from radio, we'll do like that. All right, so now let's, uh, let's get into hooking all of this up. First, I wanna grab a property. Uh, which property do I want? I want the property drop down, and we're just going to place that right there. We will go ahead and we will hook that up to that. Let's come in here, and this will be our channel number. And we need eight values because that's how many are on the remote. And we'll call this one just like it is here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seven and the reason i did that is that's how it starts out on the controller actually is there eight i need one more one more eight i think that's how many we have on the actual controller so there is actual nine channels that you can select from uh kind of weird that it's not 10 uh because you could do channel nine and uh have zero be your 10th channel but i'm pretty sure we'll double check this when we jump back in but i'm pretty sure there's eight channels 
Uh, so now that's set, it's going to default to whatever you select it on. So it, for us, it'll default to zero. If you want channel six to be your default, you can do it just like that. Uh, so that is done. Now we're going to need some composite reads. Uh, so we can come in here, we'll do four of these. One, two, three, four. And I need some composite reads on offs. So we'll do six of these. All right, now we can hook up our composite. I'm holding control to select all of these. And we'll get all of these to look like so. And this is pretty simple. You just go straight across and connect everything up like this. Same thing with the seat controls down here. Easy enough. Now you do have to come in and change these. This is going to be channel two, channel three, channel four, channel five, and channel six. That will be our seats and our buttons. And then the same thing down here. We'll do channel two, channel three, and channel four. And that should take care of our seat controls and directions. And the only thing else that I would like to have in here would be the space bar, but I don't know what channel number the space bar reads from. I thought it was seven and it's not. Uh, so if you guys know what channel uh, the space bar comes from, let me know in the comments down below. And that's just something simple that you guys can add. You just add another one of these. You can just come in here and copy. Uh, you just move it up, make this your space bar, make this whatever channel the space bar is, and then you have your fire button uh, added to the remote. But I'm not sure if that's something that works, but I do know that all of this works. Uh, so now that this is done, uh, we are good to go here. We can actually update this. This controller is now done. Um, what can I do here to actually show this? Uh, let me build something on, I'm gonna build like a, like a wall here. I'm gonna put some gauges and stuff on it and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll test all this stuff out and I'll show you how all this works. All right, so we've got a board here built. Hopefully this, uh, explains a lot what we're doing here. So I got my little remote control down here. I got our antenna moved up. This is going to be our W and S controls. This will be our A and D. This is our up and down. This is our left and right. And this is our numbers so that when we activate our buttons, you'll be able to see what numbers are going on. We'll be able to have some dials here that'll kind of tell you what the numbers are doing with the controller as well. So let's go ahead and hook this up. First things first, let's find our channel number for our radio. We can go right there. Uh, we've got A and D. I'm going to go to this. We're going to go to A and D was that one there. I think W and S was on the left. Left and right was here. And up and down was these guys here. And these should be pretty simple. Six, five, four. Uh, we got three, two. Oh, come on, two. Two and one. And the other thing that we need to hook up is our composite information from our radio. And there we go. That should be good to go. Let's spawn this in and give this a test. Uh, come over and we'll grab our controls. You can see it's already on channel zero. You can cycle through the channels and let's check. Uh, it does stop at eight. Uh, so there's nine channels total. Uh, the ninth channel being zero, which is the default channel. All right, so we're gonna left click. That now puts us in remote control mode. I can move around and spin, but I can't move anywhere else. I'm kind of stuck in position. And as you can see, my W and S is now activating the remote. Uh, and then we got A and D. We've got up and down. We've got left and right. Uh, now let's test our numbers. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Okay. I've got an error there. We got to go in and make sure we change that channel number there because what's happening there is the both of these are on channel four. Uh, so simple, simple fix. Uh, I'm kind of glad we had a little mistake here so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, it lets us uh, troubleshoot. Uh, so we'll come over to here and yep, you can see right here, we accidentally clicked channel four instead of channel five. There we go. Update that, confirm, spawn, we'll run back over. And even just to show you guys, we'll do it from here. We're, we're clicked in, I'll zoom, changing our channel numbers. There's four, there's five, there's six, there's four again, five. Okay, perfect. There's our W and S, A and D, up and down and left and right. Cool, so there you go. So what do we use this on, uh, you say? Uh, well, let's grab this. Let's go ahead and grab this. We'll get rid of this. So we take that microcontroller and then we slap it into something like this little guy here. Uh, so this is a little uh, helicopter I've built. Uh, it's got a gyro in it, uh, everything it really needs. Even the eyes, the, the logic for the eyes are part of the system. So everything has a purpose. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's jump in this room and I'll show you what we've got here. So instead of remote control, we're just actually using a seat. Uh, so it's the same same setup. Let's turn on our monitors here and I'm going to crank up this guy. All right. So we're going to take off. And as you can see, this is what we can do with remote controls. So we're just flying out of the hangar here. I can turn around. We can zoom around and look. 
Uh, so this is a little drone I made uh, for a system where we can actually watch television and game. It's on different different settings. Uh, that way I can, you know, you could fly behind a friend or something and actually see what's going on. You'd monitor them. I think that's channel 130. So you kind of get a perspective, a helicopter view of, you know, the action that's going on. Uh, still working on that project. That's uh, been been a, quite a quite a long time in the works. But uh, now that we have the new satellite dishes, uh, that project is... Uh, that project has a lot more potential than it did before. We can actually do satellite TV instead of just regular over-the-air television. Uh, but this is what you can do. You can just make little helicopters like this. You can actually control a VTOL. You can control a car, a tank, submarine, anything that uh, anything that has seat controls. Uh, let's see if we can get back in here and land. Uh, I've got the three monitors here just so I can kind of see what's going on with this drone here. So I don't run into anything. And can we land on the building? Yes, we can. Perfect. And then we'll just turn it off uh, using button one. Button one was our starter. All right, so then we get out of the building. There you go. So there you go. Not a bad landing. Uh, so that's remote controls. Uh, I don't really know what else we can tell you about it. Uh, you can hook this up to pretty much any of your vehicles. I'll make sure that I try to leave this on the workshop for you guys. You guys are welcome to use it however you want. Uh, it is for you guys. Uh, if you want to modify the microcontroller, go ahead. That's fine by me. Uh, add whatever you want. If you guys figure out how to do spacebar, uh, that'd be great. I'd love to know that. Now I know you're thinking, well, he just showed us how to build a remote control, and then he jumped into this building and didn't show us the remote control. So here, let's uh, let's jump out of the building. We've got a remote control here. We're going to lock in. We're going to crank up. And now we're going to fly our helicopter out of the hangar here. And like so. There we go. And now we have a little uh, remote control helicopter to play with in game. So that's that's really what it is. All I've done is just kind of modified the controller a little bit and put it into a seat. Uh, maybe if you guys are interested enough, we can show you how to do seat controls for radio. Uh, but other than that, we have basic remote control here for you guys. Let's see if I can bring it in for a landing. Uh, come on. Bring it down. Not very good with uh, the line of sight flying here. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, we got lucky there. We got lucky. And bring it on down. Bring it on down. Let's see if we can land it in front of us. Turn it. Whoa, okay. And set it down. Just like that. And turn it off. There you go. That is remote controls.